27 games gone in the Premier League, 11 to go. And Man United are currently second behind City. But where will we finish this season? I know what you're thinking. I'm wearing a turtleneck. Therefore, I know what I'm talking about, right? But what I'm going to do here in this video is give you my season predictions. As I said, 11 Premier League games to go. Where do I think United will end up this season? I'm going to look at the fixtures in March, April and May and then give my own prediction. And I want you to leave yours in the comments as always. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Watch the whole video. It'll be a good one, hopefully. But United are currently second. Where will we finish up? Right then, let's take a look at the fixtures in March. March is tough. We've got City away. We've got Milan in the Europa League. West Ham in the Premier League, then back to Milan, and then Leicester in the FA Cup. There's no easy tie there. And I ex I'm not expecting anything from the derby. I'll be completely honest. City won 21 games in a row. United's form has dropped off a cliff. I would love to be proven wrong. I'm sure we all would. But going into the game, everybody knows what to expect. And I do expect us to lose that game. But I, I really hope we turn up. I really hope that we... I don't know, we just look at a shadow of ourselves since we went top of the Premier League. Our form's completely and utterly dropped off. I would back us to go through in the Europa League against Milan. It's a tough, it's a glamour tie. I suppose it's more fitting for a Champions League game than it is for a Europa League game. But let's see what happens there. And I actually would back us to beat Leicester in the FA Cup too. Maybe that's over-optimistic, but let me know what you think. West Ham, at home in the Premier League, United should be getting three points against. I don't care where they are in the league. It's David Moyes back at Old Trafford. We did it in the FA Cup. I hope we do it in the Premier League. And given our form at the moment and the fact that we're probably going to lose to City at the weekend, and that's not me being pessimistic. It's me being realistic about the team that City are at the moment and the team that United are. They are they've blown everyone away since United went top and it's, it's fucking annoying. But that's just the truth. Uh, but I would back us to beat West Ham. And given our form, we can't have that run of form, lose to City and then go and lose to West Ham and have any real expectations of doing anything apart from a huge top four scrap. We've got four points on Chelsea at the moment and we're second and that's after this terrible run of form but United have to turn it around and I hope it starts with that game against West Ham really. That's going to be hopefully our first, look maybe we will turn it around against City but that's just my own opinion. Speaking of City, the guys over at Super 6 have been looking at well, having an argument really about the biggest rivalries in the Premier League. And specifically, this bit here on United, it's not often I agree with an Arsenal fan, let alone DT, but he's spot on in what he says here. I actually think that Arsenal have a bigger rivalry with Manchester United than <laughs> Manchester City. <laughs> That's nonsense. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you if you if you want to talk about Premier League and history, Arsenal and Manchester United dominated the Premier League for more than a decade. Ferguson versus Wenger, league titles, Battle of Old Trafford's all these type of things. The rivalry between Arsenal and Manchester United, honest to God, I think is bigger. I mean, I don't care about City. I think anybody else doing what City have done for the last five, six, seven, however many years, it would hurt a lot more. But City, they don't have any rivals. I miss that Arsenal rivalry. I genuinely think it was probably the best rivalry that United have ever had in the Premier League. Like 97 to, what was it, 2003, Wenger and, and Fergie, Keane and Vieira. Two elite teams battling for the top of the league. And the battles that we had. Some of my some of my favourite memories. Well, most intense memories anyway as a United fan. But let me know what you think about that. And make sure you follow the link in the description. Go and watch the full video, the full debate. And leave a comment saying you came from United People's TV. It will help me. It will help you guys. Everyone serves each other, right? But for me, Arsenal easily are a bigger rival in the Premier League to United than City are. You might disagree with that, but let me know what you think and make sure you follow the link in the description. Go and leave your own comment. But that's March looked at. Tough, tough month for United. But April, it doesn't really get much easier because we've got away games to Mourinho, Spurs and to Bielsa's Leeds. In and around that, we've got Brighton and Burnley, but I I'm scared of these games now because of how United have played this season. The West Brom, the Crystal Palace game... Ugh. Games where United go in as heavy favourites come unstuck against a resolute, tight defence. Yeah, it happens so often. With Bruno out of form at the moment, Pogba injured, United are really lacking the creative spark. And our strikers aren't scoring enough. 
defensive defensively we're not conceding but we're just four hours without a goal at the moment it's horrendous but that month there remember that if we beat Milan and we go through that's going to be in April and if we beat Leicester in the FA Cup they'll be in and around there so it could be an even busier month but for those four games you have to back United to beat Brighton and beat Burnley at home so that should be six points and if we're looking away at Spurs and away at Leeds you'd be happy if United won one of them so nine points from 12 there I think would be a good return for United in April and I don't think that should be outside the realms of possibility Leeds came to United bent over and got absolutely pumped. Was it 6-2? That's because it's just the way that Bielsa plays it. It, it suits United's style because we don't play against a deep, resolute defence. I mean, it will be a completely different game against Mourinho. And after the 6-1 early this season, Solskjaer will go into that in a massively, um, not negative mindset, but he'll be shit scared of it happening again. So I don't think that will be an enjoyable game to watch. And I will probably predict that to be a draw, if I'm being completely honest. But I think United can come away from April there with nine points. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But I'd be more than happy with that, if I'm being completely honest. And it would set us up for May. And May, well, it's better, well that's what happens when you get towards the business end of the season. It's never easy. And May, it's going to be busy as hell. And it all kicks off with Liverpool at home. Then we've got Aston Villa, Leicester, Fulham and Wolves away to finish the season. And bear in mind again, Europa League will be littered in here if we're still there. FA Cup as well. Five games. It's going to be a, a, a monumental end to the season, effort-wise. And I do worry about United's uh, energy levels. We seem to really have, have dropped that tempo now in March. And, and we've seen it under Solskjaer before as well. Remember after the first lockdown came out of it, when we used the same start at 11 for like a good few games in a row and we were blistering and then we hit a wall and the energy went out of the team. That's kind of happened at the moment. But these games here, Liverpool at home, got back United to win that, got to. Liverpool have proven that they are the worst champions ever. Well, they haven't proven that yet, but they're looking like it right now. Moyes... Afterwards, after 27 games, Moyes had two more points at United. And that was a bad season. So, Liverpool really are struggling. And United should go into that game like we did in the FA Cup, I suppose. With confidence that we can beat Liverpool. And it would set United on the right trajectory for the end of the season. Because it's going to be busy and crazy. Look, Aston Villa away, Jack Grealish, you don't know what he's going to do. Leicester at home. It may end up being, again, that Leicester is the sort of season decider because maybe at that point we're going to be sort of battling for a top four position depends on how Chelsea do and how all our rivals do as well but that Leicester game could be extremely decisive because right now Leicester are just behind United so let's see what goes on there Fulham it, I think that will all depend on whether Fulham are still in a relegation battle at that point and if they are that's a horrible tie to have and Wolves away Wolves have sort of are improving a bit but they've been massively off massively off form since Jimenez got his head injury they've really struggled to replace him and obviously Jota left for Liverpool so that is going to be a busy May and March and April don't look very easy I don't expect United to get much from City I expect us to beat West Ham we should be beating Brighton and Burnley Spurs and Leeds question marks then that busy period in May five games there's a lot that could go wrong for United, of course. That, that, that's, that's the beauty of football. You watch it to see what happens. But there's a lot that could go right. And if I'm being completely honest, my prediction for where United finish this season, I'm backing us to finish third. I really am. Uh, and I'll explain that. I think, I personally think that Chelsea are going to finish second. I think under Tuchel, they've clearly had a resurgence. It's, it's obvious they've had a resurgence. They beat Liverpool at Anfield. That, that's not very hard, though. Five losses in a row at home. Whoops, see Daisy. But... I would back Chelsea are on the right trajectory this season. The best trajectory out of any team apart from City. And I think they'll probably go for second. I think Liverpool are going to continue to struggle. I don't see how that changes for Liverpool. It only seems to be getting worse. And I hope that continues. And I would back United to better their results between now and the end of the season. As bad as our form has been, I think our form is... We've, 
I would back United to massively improve. I think when Pogba comes back into the team, when when there's less reliance, less focus on Bruno, I think he can. He's he's struggled. He struggled to any player would struggle to carry United on their shoulders for the whole season, and you, you can't blame him for this dip, really. Uh, but he's I say a dip. He's still up for Premier League Player of the Month in February, and his goals and assists are, are still insane. The numbers, but. I would also back us to just about better Leicester. And that's what I mean when I say that Leicester game may end up being the, the sort of decider again this season. It may end up being that that game is... It could be a top four decider. Just like it was last season, which would be mad really when you think about it. But I personally, I'm backing United to finish third this season. You might think that's over-optimistic. I don't really think it is. Obviously, Chelsea got closed that four-point gap, but we're playing City this weekend, so that probably will be one point by the time Monday comes around. I think Chelsea are in the best position between now and the end of the season to make the most of it. I think Liverpool are just... They're on a downward trajectory, and I don't see how that changes. Leicester, they're really struggling to... And they're really struggling with injuries as well. So that hasn't helped them. And I would back United's form to improve. It can't really get... Of course, it can get much worse. You can start losing more games, but... We draw FC at the moment, and that has to change. Defensively, we seem to be sound enough, but it, there's no creativity. It's, it's like watching Louis van Gaal again. But I would back United to improve, and that's why I'm saying third. I think we'll finish third this season. You might disagree with me, but that's the beauty of opinions. You can't be right or wrong. You can disagree with them, but you can't be right or wrong. I'll be interested to know what you think, so make sure you let me know in the comments below. And make sure, of course, that you head over to the Super 6 channel. There's a link in the description to the video. Say he came from United People's TV. There's some interesting debates in there. But obviously Arsenal are a bigger rival than City. City will never be a rival apart from the fact that we share postcodes. That's it. Sorry, guys. No one cares about you. But let me know what you think about my season predictions. And make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new to the channel. Until next time, take it easy.